All right, so today we're gonna to be restoring this Vulcan hewing ax. And if you guys look close, it has really nice stamping to it. All right, so getting down to business, we're of course gonna need our hewing ax, a scotch pad, a soft hammer, a few center punches of different types. So some can be longer, some can be shorter, wider, narrow. You're gonna need a variety of different center punches. A card scraper, some good sandpaper, a good strong vise, and pause the video really quick. What else do we need? Well, we need some hot chocolate. All right, so I'm gonna leave the handle on for now because when I'm restoring, if I was to say, grab my clamp and clamp it here, it'd be a lot harder to clean the metal. So what I'm actually gonna do is leave the handle on and clamp it down on the handle and make sure you have some, then under the vise like this so it doesn't ruin your wood. Just make sure it's nice and tight. So that's really good. And I'll start off with a scotch pad because I don't want to remove any unnecessary material. So if it comes out with just using the scotch pad, then go ahead and only use that. But if you guys can see it really close, it's I'll brighten this up for you guys. It's not wanting to completely go to raw metal, so we're just gonna take some sandpaper and the Vulcan letters are on the other side, so I can scratch as much as I want, but I wanna make sure I go with the hewing X and never go this way. All right, so after sanding it down a little bit, you guys can see all the little indents in the steel. So what we're gonna do is come by with a, oops, a stone and get one that's a little more aggressive. And I'm just gonna go in circles. So. So, if you guys look at that, it's not really wanting to bite in, so we'll try a file. If that doesn't work, we'll have to just go with the stone for a little while. Alright, so we'll just go carefully with the file. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go sideways a little bit because I'll come back here with sandpaper. And we'll just work on getting the corner down now, making sure it's nice and square. Now 
we'll try the stone again. Take it from sandpaper, or take it with sandpaper now. Let's clean it up really nice. There we go. That's looking really good. good right there so it looks good so I'll just go over the rest of the steel like this making sure get all the little scrapes out and everything and I'll come back to you guys in a second all right so that's how it's looking like right now it's all nice and smooth evenly polished no big scrape marks there's a few little indents but that's towards the middle of the axe so I'm not going to worry about that but the reason I did it here is I like a square end and we'll come back right here and flatten this and do it to the same other side and right up here and once we rehang the handle because we are going to <clears throat> take the handle off because at the end it's a really bad job we're going to sharpen it that'll be last though because it we don't want a scary sharp axe because that can be really dangerous and I don't have a sheath. So you can just clean it off because if you guys look at my hands, it's full of junk now. But it cleaned up really nice and that was with a 220 grit. You can go with something else if you would like, but it's just what I did. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna flip it over. This is the side we have to be a little bit more careful on. So I'm actually going to go right about there and then clamp it down and I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. Alright, so we're just going to try the scotch pad again and if it doesn't work, eh, we'll go back to the sandpaper. But I always like to just give the scotch pad a try or steel wool. One, they both are the same effect. so. But it looks like it's not removing all of it. It's moving a good amount, but it's not really getting as far as I would like. So we'll start towards the bottom because this needs to be flattened at the bottom anyway. But the Vulcan letter is right here, so we're going to stay away from that until we're almost done with sanding it. And if you get a spot like this, you can take the stone away. I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you can, you can take the stone to it and then just completely clean it like I did on the other side. And we'll do the same over here if it's a little bit bad on the, that side. So I'm now going to go over the Vulcan letters just slightly, not too much though. And it's really clogging up my sandpaper right here.
Right, I'm gonna go back over it. That's good enough. I don't wanna overdo that part so we can still see the Vulcan letters. So you wanna know what type of fax, brand, and everything. So we'll leave that how it is. And I'm just gonna give it a final coat going really length, really long strokes. So I'll be back with you guys in just a second. All right, so the ax is looking good on this side too. And I'll pull it out of my vise to show you guys. Or unclamp it. And see if you can see, no, oh, the brightness is too bright. You guys see that? Maybe. Oh. Right there. There you guys go. So, very nice. Very hard corner. That's really good. Now you can take these little nicks, is what I was talking about, with the file or uh, the sharpening stone. So for the rest of the axe, what did you get back there? I'm going to hold off because getting these angles, it's really hard. So we're gonna take the handle off now so we can completely restore it. And here's what I was talking about. If you guys see that, it's just a really bad job down in the middle. So improper, just nothing I wanna keep. So we'll redo that. So, oh, you know what guys, right here, this step wedge is welded onto the axe. So, someone did not want this axe handle to come off the head. So, hmm, that makes our job a lot harder. We're going to have to file this one so we can slip this out and then hopefully get something just to punch that out because yeah it's gonna be a pain well we'll give it a try all right so I've tried for about 15 minutes or so and this will not budge I have filed it underneath it my guess is they welded both together it doesn't make sense so what we'll do is for now we'll just Sand this away. I'll actually do this on my own because it's fairly boring. So if you guys know how to remove this, let me know in the comments. And if I get it by Wednesday, this will be our next project for the video. And we'll get it done then. And we'll try your idea. If not, I'll have to think of some other ways to do it. So, I uh, will see you guys in the next video, which I still need to figure out what that will be. So, and also on Wednesday, look forward to the other hewing axe handle making. So, we're going to, I believe we're going to fit it on that day. So, stay around for that. If you want to see any other videos, just click my channel. Make sure to subscribe, like, and I will see you guys later. Have a nice day.